Okay. Just gonna move that out of the way. Um, and I guess we will kind of get rolling here so that I don't keep up too much of your time um, after we're scheduled to be done. Um, but I also want to point your attention, there's a chat box right down below me, um, and it's sort of framed in a mint kind of a color, and you can interact with me that way if you want to leave some comments or ask some questions or tell me about yourself. I'll be asking everyone some questions throughout the course of the webinar, so um, you can use that spot to sort of voice your opinion because everyone needs a spot <laughs> where they can say what they want to say. So. Okay, let me just move some windows around so I'm not so distracted. Um, if you're not familiar yet, my name is Tori Mystic, and my blog is called Wear, Wag, Repeat. I blog about style and DIYs for dog moms. Um, so if everyone's discovered this little chat box, I'd like to know a little bit more about about you guys too. Um, I live in Pittsburgh, so we're doing this broadcast Eastern Standard Time. So I want to know where everybody else is watching from tonight. And while you're at it, tell me about your dogs. How many dogs do you have? And what kind are they? As you know, I have a chocolate lab named Lucy. She's four years old. She is sitting down at my feet right now. Uh, she had a really exciting morning because we got to go to a dog-friendly brunch and holiday market where there was a whole bunch of dogs inside this hotel ballroom. And um, she got to stick around while we had brunch. And I had a Bloody Mary and she had my water. <laughs> it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> um, and if you can find the chat box, please tell me a little bit about yourself and where you're watching from. Uh, I'm not sure if there's some kind of a delay on this or not. So um, if, I, if I don't see a whole lot of chatting going on, I'll just go ahead and sort of get started with the program today. Okay, so I'm not seeing anyone's chatting, but you can also tune in. Um, you can fill in and pipe up and pipe in on there whenever you feel like it. So I'll just kind of dive in to um, sort of the meat of my presentation here today and what I'm going to be talking to you guys about. Um, of course, if you want to share this with anyone, you should be able to just hover over this window and down um, towards the right, whichever side that ends up being <laughs> for you. Um, there should be a little arrow that allows you to share this broadcast with people. Oh, Alicia's watching. Alicia, um, if you guys aren't familiar, she is the DIY dog mom, so I feel like the pressure is really on. I have to do a really good job today. <laughs> Okay, so um, hi Alicia, hi um, the couple other people who are tuning in, and if you're watching this on the replay, hello to you too. Um, so you're all here because you are stylish dog moms, and just like me and Lucy, you love to do things together, and um, you're always looking for ideas for, for ways you can incorporate your dog in the things that you love to do. So if you can take your dog to a dog-friendly holiday market, like I just was at this morning, uh, you're totally going to do that, right? Uh, and so why not incorporate your dog into your downtime a little bit more? So um, I had a little bit of a turning point myself this past year. I started to take my blog a little bit more seriously. I started my blog about three years ago as a place to share my love of fashion and style and dogs. And over the years, I moved into a new apartment. I bought a new house. I started doing a lot more DIY projects and found myself blogging about those a lot more than fashion stuff. And people were responding really well to that kind of stuff. And so I thought, you know, I should also incorporate the dogs because people also love dog posts. So that's kind of how I ended up where I am today in terms of content with all the DIYs for specifically for dog moms. Um, and in the past year, I also completely redesigned my website and just did a lot more outreach and got to know a whole lot of more people. 
um, who are sort of in this space, like Alicia, who's watching right now, and just lots more dog bloggers and, and people who are just doing really exciting things. And I learned how to do YouTube videos. I learned how to do this webinar. Um, and so I'm really excited to be able to bring the experiences that I've learned over the past year about spending more time with my dog and making the most of that time with all of you guys now through all these new different mediums that we have at our fingertips. So I really um, have sort of come up with this philosophy of reclaiming my downtime to make the most of it and to make beautiful things that I can enjoy with my dog or things that are for my dog. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing here today. Um, we're gonna be making these DIY salt dough paw print ornaments. You probably saw a picture of it um, when I was promoting this webinar. So this is how it turned out. I might have too much, too much uh, light to show this really well, but um, you can see I finished it off with metallic paint along the edge as well. And I also put Lucy's name and the year on the back. So it becomes really like a fair family heirloom ornament. I mean, heirlooms don't always have to be the most expensive things. They can be something that you treasure and that you made by hand. Um, and this is something that I'll hold on to as long as I possibly can and remember my girl Lucy. So you guys are really going to love this. Um, it's super easy. And you're just going to really treasure this ornament. I know you're going to love it. So um, before we dive into the actual craft, um, Christmas is next week. And obviously, we're making an ornament. So I want to know who is buying Christmas presents for their pets. Or if your family and friends are buying Christmas presents for your pets. Are they going to have their own little stocking? Are they going to have presents under the tree? Do you let them unwrap their gifts? How do you incorporate your pets into the holiday? Oh, and Cynthia is here. I just saw in the chat, Cynthia is one of my most favorite people in the entire world, and she's also very crafty, so um, I'm feeling like double pressure. <laughs> she's drinking Prosecco, which is also, also a good choice. Since I had a Bloody Mary at breakfast time, I decided uh, I would go for hot chocolate now. Hey, Melissa. Melissa's also one of my favorite, favorite people this year, and she's the one who really uh, made it possible for me to even know how to do this webinar. So I'm so excited. Um, all of the people who are on here, I really love you all so much, and I appreciate for you for tuning in here, too. Okay. All right. So are you ready to dive in? Uh, you should have gotten an email with all the supplies. I don't know if you're going to be making this. Lucy, just hold on. Hold on, sit down, sit. She's, ne she's needy assistant. Okay, so um, I sent everybody an email with all the supplies that you're gonna need for this craft. Um, and hopefully you got that and hopefully you're gonna make these alongside me right now. All you need is some plain Morton salt or whatever kind of salt you have, cheaper the better. Um, plain white flour, which I have here. And we're gonna use about a half a cup of water. And you're gonna need a bowl to stir it and a rolling pin, all that kind of stuff. Once we get it all rolled out and the dog paw print put in there, there's a few things we're gonna do to kind of finish it off before we put it in the oven. Um, I already pre-made a blank one, so I'll show you how to finish it um, when you guys can let yours bake and then you can finish painting them later tonight. Um, so, sorry, I just wanna look at my notes here for just a second. Okay. Now, I have a mixing bowl. I'm going to kind of tilt the camera down, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, I love that your dog has a stocking with his name on it. Okay, so we're just going to kind of tilt this down. I don't mean to give you guys like a, a chest shot of me, but this is the best way to sort of see what's happening here. All righty. So all we do really is mix our dry ingredients which is a half a cup of salt. And this does make kind of a lot of dough, um, but it's really hard <laughs> to get your dog to put a good paw print in here. So it's good to have extra in case you need to do it a few times. 
Okay, and then we need one cup of flour. So that's just two scoops of this measuring cup. Okay. Move that out of the way. And then kind of mix it up a little bit. And we do a half a cup of water. Okay. And I made these earlier. I put in about half of the water and then I stirred it. Of course, I forgot. Spoon. Okay. It's nice when you're doing something in your own kitchen because then you have all of your own tools. So you can see I just am stirring that up. And I don't, I mean, I guess you could dump in all the water, but this is just how I did it. Okay. That's it. And once you get it all incorporated, you're going to have to dig in with your hands. So if you're wearing any rings, you might want to take those off. It's up to you. Okay. And I just finished it off with my hands. That was the best way to kind of work it into a nice dough for these little ornaments. Okay. Let's put that aside for one second because you want to flower your workspace. Okay. You guys doing this alongside me? I hope so. Because you're going to have an awesome ornament by the end of this. You might as well use your time wisely. Okay. Here is our dough. And I like to just kind of get it started smushing it out. Okay. And I'm going to put a little flour on top so my rolling pin doesn't stick. And don't have to make it that thin because you want to get a nice deep impression of your dog's paw. You guys with me? I hope so. Okay. All right. It's pretty smooth. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Now, um, I feel weird having my face cut off, so I'm just going to tilt it up for a second. Um, once you guys have gotten that rolled out, you're going to have to get your dog. <laughs> Lucy is never more than three feet away from me, so she is sitting right here, so I can get her to give me her paw pretty easily. Um, but just while you're doing that, okay, keep in mind the shape and size of your dough that you rolled out and your dog's paw size. I have a plastic drinking cup that is the perfect circumference to fit around Lucy's paw print. So I'm actually going to get her paw print first because that's harder to get uh, and then I'm going to come back and cut out around it with this cup and that's going to give me a perfect little ornament um, size. So let's see exactly how this works. I'm going to try and do this so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Lucy's going to hate it but we'll just go with it, right? She doesn't get a lot of say. <laughs> okay, here we go back down again so we can see our dough. Okay, Lucy. Come here. Ready? Okay, up, up. Come on, up. Come here. Come on, up. Okay. Here's Lucy. Ready? One. Two. Okay. Ready, Liz? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ready? Okay, ready? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Woo! <laughs> you guys, I'm so happy that I have all these awesome dog moms on here so that you understand the struggle of doing something like this. <laughs> um, but that actually didn't turn out terrible. And so now I want to show you. Um, let me check the chat and see if anyone has actually done this. Hope you guys are doing it along with me.
I'm a little out of breath after that, to be honest with you. But we got our paw print. It's kind of like right on the edge, but I'm gonna show you how you can make it look even better if you didn't really get a amazingly wonderful impression. You can still make it look really good. So watch this. Back down. Um, here's Lucy's paw print, and it's it's a little bit faint, and I do have a little, one little nail imprint right there. But what I'm gonna do is just take my finger, and I can kind of see where her paw landed, and I'm just gonna, you know, make it a little bit more pronounced. There is nothing wrong with doing it this way. Okay? And you can just sort of give the shape of your dog's paw, it's still their paw, but you're just kind of making it a little bit easier to see. Okay, and then Lucy did get her, her fingernail right here. So I'm actually gonna take, I have a paintbrush ready for later. I'm gonna take a paintbrush and do a fingernail impression for all four. Why not? My other one's not like that, so why not just make a little variation? Okay, so that looks pretty nice. It is kind of on the edge here. So I'm gonna take my cup and it's actually gonna work out just perfectly. Uh, using a clear cup is really nice because you can see what you're doing. And there we go. Okay, just clear out the dough around it. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of be careful how you move this around make sure it's not stuck and you can actually grab a spatula um, if you're near one or just like here we go that worked really well okay I just wanted to move it over so it didn't get stuck um, and then I also I put on the list of supplies a drinking straw so if you have a drinking straw this just happens to be a decorative paper one um, you want to take it and find the center, or you can make it off-centered. It's really up to you. This is your ornament and your dog, and you can make it exactly how you want. But I'm going to do it pretty much right in the center and just poke a hole with this straw. The dough came right out of it. Um, and that is where we're going to string our ribbon through once these are done baking. Are you guys with me on this? Is it all... Is it all working out? I hope so. Or if you're gonna try and do this later with your dog, just try and remember everything that I said. There will be a replay available. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you guys. I just am looking at the chat. So um, thanks for sticking with me through this. It was a little bit of a challenge. When I did it myself, I went down on the ground with Lucy and got her paw print, um, but I wanted you to see how I did it. So. Um, I think she's already forgiven me, it's okay. <laughs> all right, so now that we have this all done, I should have told you at the beginning of this thing, you wanna preheat your oven to 225 degrees. And you're gonna put this in, I like to put all of this kind of stuff, here you go, sit down, sit down, there you go. I like to put all this kind of stuff on like wax paper or parchment paper because I just get worried about it sticking, but if you have a really good nonstick pan, you should be fine. So you put it in at about 225 degrees for like two hours. And I think I left mine in for a little bit longer. You just wanna feel if it's hardened really. Um, at that kind of a temperature, we're really just drying it out and there's nothing in here but salt, <coughs> flour, and water. So um, it is gonna dry out pretty quickly. So um, you can go ahead and put that in the oven and kind of get it started or at least preheat your oven so you can put <coughs> this in when we're done. Lucy, it's all about you. It's all about you. Sit down. Sit. Good girl. Stay there. Okay. So um, let me move all this mess out of the way, and I'm going to show you guys how I painted my finished one, okay? Just throw that in the sink. Deal with it later. Oh, I need, I need, I need a little bit of hot chocolate. Can you hear her squeaking in the background? She's just like, needs a lot of attention. Okay. So I um, 
decided I was at the craft store and there's probably a million different choices for paint that you can get, including like a million different metallic paints. So I got this one. Um, it's actually called Warm Metal is the name of the color. So it is like a coppery goldish kind of rose goldy kind of a color. It's very pretty and it goes really well with my decorations, which is why I chose it. So you can do any color. I've seen people do like red and black or red and green to make it more Christmassy. Um, there's lots and lots of options. So let me tilt the camera back down again and I'll show you guys how you finish it off. So this is the finished ornament when it comes out of the oven and it's really very hard. Um, it's And it's not that fragile, like I don't think it's gonna just crack on you. Um, and I just have tin foil here so I don't get paint all over my countertop. But all I'm gonna do is just take my paint, and I have an old paintbrush that as you can see I've done many, many projects with because it has paint kind of all over it. But that's okay, you don't need to buy a brand new paintbrush for every project that you do. So here we go. I'm just going to fill in Lucy's paw print. And it's really that easy. And as you can see, I'm doing this live. There's no editing going on. Um, this is just how easy and quick this project is. It's 524 and we're almost done. So apart from the cooking time, this whole thing is gonna take you like 20 minutes. It's pretty fabulous. Okay, fill in here. And then when I painted mine, I actually went back and did a second coat because I found that it hid the brush strokes a little bit better. So on, on this coat, um, you can kind of see the brush strokes, but if you go in again after it dries and do another coat, it'll turn out a lot better. Um, and this one does kind of have the nail imprints on it, and I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cute. And you could, you know, just do a little dab and all of those. Um, another thing that I like to do to finish it off and just make it look a little bit more finished is painting around the edge. I'm just gonna hold it in the middle like that and paint all the way around the edge. It actually, this looks like a cookie actually. Makes me want a sugar cookie. Okay, and we're just gonna paint it all the way around the edge. And again, like I said, you can do whatever you want with this. You can leave it plain. If you want something more plain, you could paint the entire thing one solid color and just kind of let the um, paw print impression kind of stand on its own. It is really up to you. And there we go. Done. That was so easy. I love when projects are easy. Okay. Try not to get paint everywhere. And you might want to go back and do a second coat later. But I'm going to let this dry for now. And then the final step that I would do so that you can remember actually when you made this and which dog you made it with in case you have multiple dogs, I know some of you do. Um, I always like to just take a Sharpie uh, like I did on this finished one and I put Lucy's name and the year. You could also put their name on the front, but I think it looks more elegant to have the name on the back. So it's really up to you however you want to finish it. So. Um, the final, final, final step is I just have a little piece of ribbon. This is probably six or eight inches long. And whenever my paint is dry, which for today's purposes is now, <laughs> I'm just going to string this through, through the hole that we made earlier with the, um, straw. You might need something to help you get it through. Come on. Okay, there we go. And again, this is kind of the colors of my decorations. I like black and I like gold. Um, so that is how I finished mine off. And then all I did was just tie a really simple knot at the top, right like that. And what I like to do, I'll hold it over here so you can see it a little bit better, is I just slide the ribbon through 
like this, so that then the knot is hidden in the back and you have a, a nice clean loop right at the top. And it is ready to hang on your Christmas tree. You could also use this as a gift topper on things that you're wrapping. It's also a great gift just on its own if you want to give it to, you know, your mom uh, since her only grandchild might be a dog. <laughs> she might like to have their paw prints in, um, in an ornament. So that's a really nice present for everybody and I can't wait to see uh, how yours turn out so when you're all done doing this please 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 share photos you can email it to me send me a link on Twitter on Facebook on Instagram you can use hashtag wear wag repeat um, whatever you want to do I want to see how your ornament turns out so um, get a picture of it later tonight when it's done baking and when you put it on your tree um, okay, so I mentioned at the beginning of this webinar that I had some really exciting news to share with you guys. Um, and I also told you this, this was only going to be like a half an hour long. So perfect timing. Lucy, just hold on. Relax. We're almost done. So um, Lucy, come here. Come here. Come here. She, no, she thinks I'm going to do something to her now. Um, so. Like I said, for the past year, I've been working so hard on my blog and meeting so many amazing people like Melissa and Alicia and all these different people who are watching here tonight. And um, I have just learned so much. And I've learned that people want to do more projects with their dog. And they want to spend more time with their dogs. But maybe you're short on ideas. Maybe squeakers are making you go insane and you can't think straight. So, like Lucy is doing to me right now. Um, so that's why I actually came up with a um, subscription program, and you are the first ones to hear about it here live tonight. And it is called Lucy Loves DIY. So um, Lucy loves to bark, and she loves DIY. I'm going to take just one second. I want to show you guys the new section of my website um, where the Lucy Loves DIY subscription lives and tell you a little bit more about it. So this is all geared exactly towards people like you and I who love to do DIY projects with their dogs, um, but I'm making it even easier than it ever was before. Um, you know, I think even this paw print ornament would be a little intimidating to somebody to do if they didn't have, you know, the guidance and the supplies list and a tutorial to follow. So I'm just going to do a quick screen share here and show you guys exactly what the Lucy Loves DIY subscription is all about. Okay. So um, if you were to go to my website now, there is a section over to the right that says Lucy Loves DIY. And this is the homepage for my new DIY subscription, which is just being released to the public tomorrow. So you really are the very first people to hear about this and be able to sign up. You're the, you're the first ones really getting access to this. So I'm really, really excited, and especially the three of you who are watching live right now, I really value all of your opinions so much, so I can't wait to see what you think about it. Um, this is the only DIY subscription for stylish dog moms. It gives you style, dogs, and DIY in a monthly digital subscription. So there's Lucy and I working on what is actually the January craft that I'm gonna be releasing to everyone. So just like me, you love sharing recipes, DIYs, and <coughs> tips about being an awesome dog mom. Come here, Lucy, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Um, <coughs> hold on a second. All right, this is, this is what it's like being a dog mom and trying to work with Lucy standing right next to me. Okay, so through the Lucy Loves DIY subscription, you're gonna be able to sign up to receive an exclusive, creative DIY project every month. So these DIY ornaments that we just made are just the beginning. I have come up with some really, really awesome projects. Um, the one that you can see me working on in this photo is a custom, template for a dog mom welcome mat. 
So the one that I'm making in that photo says peace, love, wag. And you're also going to be able to choose from a bunch of different dog breeds. So it could say peace, love, and then your favorite dog breed silhouette. Uh, every project that I'm doing is also going to have a different variation available. So for that January project, not only would you get the templates to make something that says peace, love, lab, or whatever you wanted to say, um, you could also make one that says knock if you heart dogs. Um, because obviously anyone who's knocking at your door better heart dogs, otherwise they better move on to the next house. <laughs> at least that's what I think. So um, these are the kinds of projects that I've come up with through the Lucy Loves DIY subscription. And um, let me just scroll down and show you guys a little bit about it. There are different monthly subscription options with like huge savings if you do a whole year's worth of subscriptions. Um, but before we get to that, I will show you more of what you get in the subscription. Um, so like I said, there are so many things that people want to do, but the idea of of going out and finding the supplies and looking up like six different online tutorials, which is what I was just doing earlier today for a Christmas present I wanna make. It's so time consuming. And then I think a lot of people end up just not making anything at all. So through the Lucy Loves DIY subscription, I already have done a video tutorial similar to this live webinar. Um, it's gonna be a YouTube video that's gonna show you step by step exactly what you do. If you've watched any of my other YouTube videos they'll be very similar quality if not better uh, and show you step by step everything you would need to do to do any of my crafts there's also going to be printable instructions that's going to show you the ingredients if it's a if it's an edible product or the supplies that you'll need and then what I'm most excited about really is the custom Amazon shopping list I'm gonna put together for each craft. So I was sort of trying to figure out exactly how to package this digital subscription since it's, since it's not a traditional subscription box where you already get all the supplies, this is more customizable. And I know when I buy DIY supplies, I end up reusing the stuff all the time. So through this subscription, you're gonna get a shopping list from me that's all optimized for Amazon Prime products. So if you have Prime, you'll get free shipping and fast shipping. And I'll show you exactly what paint and brushes and welcome mat to get, for example, for the January project um, and, and everything else and of course you can just go to to Michael's or a local craft store and find your supplies yourself um, or you could just click order and it'll be at your house in a few days if you go the Amazon route so I'm really really excited about that I know for me the most time-consuming thing is hunting down all of the supplies so um, having a list that's already put together of everything that I need and then having a video tutorial and a printable, this is gonna make it so easy. So of course, um, being a dog mom, I know that there are always more treats where that came from. <laughs> um, at least that's what Lucy knows. So I have worked in some really awesome bonus treats for this. Um, so anyone who signs up for the, for the subscription is going to get membership in an exclusive private Facebook group um, where you're gonna be able to sort of network and collaborate with other dog moms who are in the program. And you're gonna be able to ask me any question that you want. And of course, the highlight is sharing photos of your finished DIYs. Because if you don't share photos, did the DIY really happen? <laughs> Um, everyone loves to share photos of their dogs and photos of their projects. So that's going to be a really great place for you to connect. Um, and speaking of photos, anyone who's in the program is going to be able to use a special hashtag, Lucy Loves DIY. And I'll be reposting my favorite submissions on my own social media. Um, so that's a really great way to also get your get your dog out to a broader audience and get some more likes for your social media and um, all that kind of stuff too and just kind of share what you're doing. Um, if I've learned anything over the past year, it's the amazing friendships and relationships that you can build with friends online. I've met some really amazing people. Um, the brunch that I was at this morning, the dog friendly brunch was with an Instagram dog friend of ours. <laughs> So um, it's really, really wonderful to be able to connect with people who share the same passion that you have for style and dogs and crafting and just 
pretty much being the best badass dog mom that you can be. Uh, and so all of these people are going to be connecting through the Lucy Loves DIY program. Um, here's a little bit more. These are examples of projects I've done and a, a, an example video. And like I mentioned, the pricing is based on one month, six months, or one year. And if you sign up for one year, you are going to save like 33% versus if you did 12 individual months in a row. So I think a lot of people might want to try one month um, and then you know definitely upgrade to the 12 months or the six months because you're going to get a really awesome savings and you're going to be able to get to be a part of this community for a whole year or more. Um, and I, I'm really, really excited about it. So um, let me just show you, if you want to sign up, like I said, you just go to my website, wearwagrepeat.com, and look for the Lucy Loves DIY icon on the side here, and just scroll down and select the program that you're most interested in. I think you should do the year one, because I want to hang out with you guys all year round. And, um, and that's it. These are some, of, some more of the benefits that I was talking about. And you'll sign up and, and tell me your dog's name, most importantly. And as you can see, there's a spot for a coupon code. Everyone who's on here live tonight uh, has access to a coupon code for 15% off if you use the code Santa Paws. Uh, and so you'll also see you should get a pop-up on the website when you go over there. You'll be able to get that, that discount on there, too. So let me turn off the screen share. I'm back. OK, Cynthia, let me see what you're up to. Two Yorkie paw prints, two cat paw prints, extra dough. <laughs> I think I would like to get William's handprint on an ornament. I think that would be really great. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a little bit of Q&A if anyone's interested in asking some questions or telling me more about their dogs. I know there's just a few of us on here, but I really appreciate you guys all signing on, and I hope that you had fun. I know that at least Cynthia was doing this along with me live, um, so that's really, really awesome. And if anyone else wants to sort of pipe in, I would love to hear about you and your dogs. If you want to... Um, well, I guess I know all of you who are on here, so I can stalk you on Instagram later. <laughs> can you hear my Christmas music? All right, well, um, I think that is just about it. Here we are, 540. This is perfect timing. Lucy's getting antsy again. Thank God for a large treat jar over here. Sit down. There you go. Okay. Um, do you want to say goodbye to everybody, Lucy? Come here. Come here. Okay. Up. Come on. Up. Up. Come on. Up here. Come on. Lucy. Up, up. No. She's over it. So you guys are just going to have to say goodbye to her in another way. <laughs> um, but thank you all so much. So much for tuning in here today um, and if you would like to share this with anyone there is going to be a replay available for a little bit um, so you can share it with any other dog moms who would like it and I know I was just, I was just, I was just gonna say that I know Lucy is reminding me to tell you um, to sign up for the Lucy loves DIY subscription it makes it makes an awesome gift for yourself or for your favorite dog mom so um, on that note, I think my, my boss over here says I have to go. So I'm going to sign off, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And I want to see your finished ornaments. Don't forget to show me. Bye.